Hello, good evening. Welcome to Sandy Ainley. I hope each one of you are well. I'm sorry I haven't been recording much recently, so to speak. Um, I haven't been uh, coping as positively as I would will have liked and wished. Um, very sadly, I've been diagnosed with anorexic and bulimic type symptoms and I've been trying really hard not to let it get really extreme. Um, I'm either eating more than I need to eat or I'm eating less than I need to eat. And I'm struggling with finding that balance and I've been feeling weak and lying down and, and when I go walking I lose my breath very easily as a result of my um, weight concerns or concern to be more precise. Um, I was informed by one of my uh, pharmacists and doctors that I just need to um, be a rock, my own rock, and just um, say no to myself when I feel like binging on sweets and say yes to myself when I need a good, wholesome meal. And um, I'm the only person who can do anything about it, I don't mind saying. I can be given advice, I can be be given comment, I can be given laughed on subject of, I can be criticised, I can be given positive, helpful feedback. However, the only person who can actually change what's taking place is myself. I've been involved in the past with with a, a number of um, diet organisations. I've been involved with um, ketosis. Um, I've been involved with, um, oh gosh, um, Weight Watchers, that's the one. Um, I've tried the Cambridge diet um, and now I'm not on any of those. I'm simply just trying to cut down. I went out to a restaurant this evening and had a bean burger and I was very proud of my choice that I had that. And I had some chips, but only about 12 chips were on my plate, I'm happy to say. And I ate those as a result of the fact that I needed some dinner. And I was very pleased that they'd given me such a little portion. Um, and had they given me more, I would have ch had a challenge there. And I was lucky this evening. However, the real luck needs to come from me, doesn't it? Don't you think so? I, I think that um, I'm quite happy just to ask you that at the same time as me making a statement. Because each to one's own, of course. Um, I've been offered by my family to uh, be involved in with another diet company, but I, I really do believe that the discipline needs to come from me. I've been, I've seen a dietitian in the past and um, that didn't seem to do much for me. In fact, what took place was um, I, um, I, um, I was admittedly porcupying and I ate differently to what I wrote on my food diary. And then I acknowledged it to the farm, the, um, um, dietitian who chose to, instead of keeping me on and thinking, well, well done Sandy for having come clean with me, so to speak, the lady dismissed my, me and, 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 and I, I, I think that, that personally, um, 
well, I've learned from it not to do that, number one. And if I do it, not to say anything, be a bit more discreet. And, and I've also learned that, um, you know, if I'm going to do that, I'm best off doing it without being involved with a dietitian, stroke diet company, etc. Just to do it on my own and use my own diet my own discipline and then I'm not I think the saying is answerable to anybody so even though I've been offered I've been also bribed by a friend that each pat stone I lose that I'm going to be given some money and <laughs> I mean I know my friend means well however I really do mean this I just need to uh, control and um, use my tough nature um, although I'm also very sensitive I'm an interesting mixture of both I don't mind having said but just to use my strong side in my character to be my own rock and be my own um, my own um, yes that's a good word rock exactly that and um, I, I feel that, that, that there's only so much that one can have to think on subject of, and there's a lot on my mind, and by giving myself this diagnosis uh, of the two eating disorders, I um, am acknowledging to myself, because one can be diagnosed, but, but one needs to acknowledge the diagnosis. And I now realise that I need to um, be in acceptance mode on the subject of this diagnosis, or as one might put it, these diagnoses. Um, and then I can't change the situation dramatically at the moment. And so what one can't change, one needs to try to accept. And by accepting, it makes it much easier. And so I am in acceptance mode now and I'm trying to um, be consistent with that. And um, by being consistent, um, I'm progressing. Um, I'm probably at the heaviest I've ever been. And it started at the beginning of the pandemic, I don't mind saying, and I wasn't eating more than my usual amount. However, as a result of the fact that I was sitting down so much in my flat, when nobody was allowed to leave their places or very few or whatever, I wasn't allowed to leave anyway. Um, because I was sitting down so much, I put on weight about a stone and a half in one year. And then I noticed I still remained, even after the pandemic and after my beautiful late father passed, um, I I was in my I was in my flat again quite a bit, and even though I was allowed out at that point to go outdoors and and live my life generally like before the pandemic, um, because I'd got into the habit of staying in my flat, I um, stayed in my fl flat and put weight on. Again, and. Um, I just, for some, yes, I think the pandemic influenced this a lot. And 
I allowed the pandemic to take over in a way. Uh, not in a way, I did full stop and continued putting on weight and then I put on even more weight. And I realize now that if I don't take charge, then the diet problem is gonna take charge of me. And I don't want that. Life is too precious to give in to one's own living and life. There's far too much for me to live for. I have my mother, thank goodness. I have my darling brother. I have um, my cat and my friend uh, who lives miles away, but very close lady friend. And um, I have um, a lovely friend who comes to work for me and the lady's become a friend and it's really nice. And um, I have a collection, a small, however, a nice close collection of people that I mix with. Um, one of which I love particularly who visits me every couple of weeks and sometimes we meet out. We've been meeting out a little bit as well. And I plan next time I go out with this lady, I plan to ask if we can meet outdoors. Um, of course, being active is gonna help me a lot. And cutting out um, really chips at my weight is very cheeky of me, in my opinion. Um, I really need to try to just say no and have nothing to that effect. I would say at this stage, not even, not even um, noodles and rice, maybe to try to cut my carbs out. I lost a lot of weight when I was on the ketosis diet. I lost about five or four stones. And I know that I can do that again. In fact, I need to lose much more than that, in my opinion. However, five would be great. I'd be very happy. Uh, it'd be a, a lovely start. And I'm also finding that it's harder for me to get about, even though I've had my left hip replaced six months ago or so. I'm finding my weight is pulling me down physically uh, when I try to go somewhere I get tired very easily and I don't have large parents my late father wasn't a very large person and neither is my mother so there's no reason as to why I'm to be this way apart from the fact of my own self action and the only person who can alter that and change that is like I said before. So the step I need to take is not like I said earlier today to a friend of mine, I said, oh, if I lose weight. No, my attitude is to have the attitude of saying I when I lose weight. And there's no excuse. And I, I'm starting from this conversation now with yourself and each darling one of you who watch me. And I wish to say that I owe it to myself to be careful with my food. And I can do it. And I shall do it. And I am doing it. And that's it. I have to control myself and hello darling, my little pussycat agrees with me, he's come to see me. <laughs> hello Oreo darling, who's a good boy, who's a good boy? I tend to say, oh you lovely boy, oh look how beautiful, lovely beautiful boy, yes, yes darling, oh you're such a good boy.
Yes, you clever boy. You clever boy. You clever boy, yes. Yes, my baby's coming to be cuddled. <laughs> so, um, I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Um, yes, um, putting on all this weight um, is, is just knocking me down. And it's either the weight that's going to win or me that's going to win. And I choose the latter. And like I said earlier, there's no excuse. Even if I have a sad day or I go to a street shop and see my favourite sweets, I still have to say no. And that's the hardest part. My great late aunt used to say to me, a second on the lips, then a life long of hips. Uh, or something to that effect. A, a moment on the lips and a lifetime of hips, I think it's the saying. Please forgive me if I'm incorrect. So, it's true. You no know, one has something that one fancies and and then one puts on a couple of pounds and then the next type of time another couple of pounds. It's very easily done. Certainly in my case, I love my food. And my f food is uh, not the enemy. It's me who's my own enemy. And oh gosh, I just to open my eyes and say I'm responsible and I want to change I mean my face isn't particularly big I've got a double chin however apart from that I think my face is okay weight wise my arms aren't too bad and my chest isn't too bad I think where my um, body is larger is around the waist uh, as a result of my poor diet that I've been having of late a bit so to speak and my thighs and my bottom um, but I've lost it so many times and it's been hard for me my life has been up and down all the time with my weight I was even a chubby baby you know my mum said I loved my food as a baby. I'm sure I did. So, okay, Sandy, there's no excuse. And to any of you out there who's struggling with, with your diet, please be strong. And please don't give yourself any false excuse. There is no excuse. Whatever you've been through in your life, there's no excuse. You owe it to yourself to do something about it. And each person is a separate element, I don't mind saying. Some, one, one person may find the diet on the Weight Watchers scheme helpful. One person may find the ketosis diet helpful. By the way, if you didn't know, the, the, the spelling is K-E-T-O-S-I-S. And Cambridge, like Cambridge, as in University Cambridge. And then there's Weight Watchers, which is Weight Watchers. And um, so if any of you, um, maybe one person will be more suitable for the, to try the Cambridge diet and, and la -di da so on and so forth. And um, of course, each one of us is different, a separate element. And for me, I've decided for the moment anyway that I'd like to try to challenge myself. Um, I've been thinking on the subject and I'd rather spend the money on healthy food than spend the money on the cane, at the moment anyway, on one of the diet schemes. So I'm getting rather tired now. 
Okay, my eyes are starting to close, so um, I'm going to bid you a loving good night. And um, please take care of yourself. And please take care of one another. And um, please take it on board that you can lose weight and you shall lose weight. And this is, of course, if it's necessary. And you have no excuse. I repeat, you have no excuse. I thank you so much. Lots of love. Bye-bye.